Okay, once again, good day everyone, no? And we are now in the continuation of our integral calculus, no? So we have the basic integration formulas, but this time, we also have to introduce the basic techniques in integration. Now, we recall that we have five formulas to be used, no? Okay, now. There are instances, now we're in, okay, so we have problem like this, no? So there are situations that the given is not directly integrable no using the formulas no above no but simple substitution no so if we have to substitute transforming the given no so we can possibly arrive with an integrable form no so how to do that now it, it, this is actually a method no so a simple substitution method which is also very similar to providing an exact or perfect deal Okay, so we have to start with a substitution method. Now, in the previous presentation, I show you a case which is like this. Now, we're in. If we have a binomial that is raised to power 7, no? while it is possible to expand our binomial, but it will take time. So that is why we have, I told you that we can also explore other possible option of doing the integration process because the formula we have here no, is not limited to function x with a power, but it can be any function that can be raised to a power. So, if I'm going to call my base at which 7 is used to raise, no? so, pwede na ko tawgo ng ako ang base 9x minus 5 being my u. So, if I'm going to take the derivative of which, the derivative of 9x minus 5 is 9. So, what is the differential? So, the differential is the product of the derivative and the differential of x. So, do we have a du which is 9dx. Or I can go directly to the differential. Now, if I'm going to substitute, no? if I'm going to replace my 9x minus 5 with u, then I'll be looking also for a replacement of the dx. So, from this equation above, no? my dx can be solved which is du over 9. Okay, so pwede na ko mag-substitute to the given. Okay, so this is the result when I substituted, no? So we have the integral of u to power 7. The dx is now being replaced also with a du over 9. Now, if you try to compare this with the power rule of integration, so there is a slight problem because there is a constant involved which is 1 over 9. However, I3 also suggested that if there is a constant factor, no, part of your integral, that constant factor can be placed before the integral sign according to I3. So that is why I put my 1 over 9 before I take the integral of u to power 7 and a du. So this is now actually following the standard integration formula which is I4. Okay, so in an I4, so if I'm going to consider my power rule, so I4 states that I have to increase the original power from 7 it becomes it because I'm adding 1. And I can divide with n plus 1, so I have over it this also. Now, the problem is, I arrive with an answer, but my answer is not expressed in terms of the original variable x. So, I can also restore my variable, and I can arrive with my answer. The product of 9 and 8 is 72, so my answer is 1 over 72. Then my u is written, no? which is the 9x minus 5, which is raised to power 8 plus c being my answer. Okay, so that's how to solve by using a method of Ose. Ose method, it is the simple substitution method. Now, this problem is also solved in the previous presentation. No? So, for those who failed to watch my first, uh, the previous presentation, so you can also check with the uh, video number one, no? In the integral calculus, no? So, basic uh, integration formulas, no? Now, let us try considering the expression raised to 3 being my u. Okay, so if I'm going to call the x to power 1 third, which is equivalent to a cube root of x, no? minus 5 being my u, then I take its derivative under a power rule of differentiation. I have 1 third times x to power. If 1 is subtracted, so I have minus 2 third. This is the derivative. My du rearranging, expressing my power to be positive, I take the reciprocal, so I have 1 over 
x to power 2 third with a dx. I can immediately go with a do if you like. Pwede. So, we are without passing through with a derivative. Okay? Now, again, this can be called a co. But this one, this is dx over x to power 2 third. So, it's present here. So, I need to find a replacement of the whole ratio. What ratio is that I'm referring to? The dx over x to power 2 third. And from this equation, no? So, I can put my 3 together with the do. So, the 3 do is equal to the dx over x to power of 2 third. Okay? So, pwede na ko mag-substitute to my given number 2. Okay, so it's the integral of, this is now u cube, so I have u cube, and the dx over x to power 2 third is 3 du. And again, there's a presence of a constant. I take the same approach in number 1, so as guided with i3, constant can be placed before the integral sign so that this will follow exactly the power rule of integration. So using the power rule, I increase the exponent by 1, so this becomes 4, that's over 4. This is 3 fourth of u to the fourth power plus c. And I can restore my variable to arrive with the final answer. Okay, so 3 fourth multiplied with the expression cube root of x minus 5 raised to the fourth power plus, plus c. Okay, a very similar approach to simple substitution is by providing an exact or a perfect do. Now, the differential of u or c do is perfect or exact if all of its components are present. If the d given do is lacking a constant factor, this lacking constant factor can be inserted into the integrand and its reciprocal is placed before the integral sign as a neutralizing factor. I call it as in F. Now, if the lacking factor in your integral involves a variable, now do not apply this kind of approach because this is only limited to a factor lacking which is a pure constant. Okay? Let us try to work with this. No? <coughs> now, I have an alternate solution for number 1 and 2. Okay, this is very similar to a simple substitution only. We are not going to change the given in terms of another variable and restore. Okay, so like this. My u is the 9x minus 5. And this time, I go directly to the differential instead of solving for the du dx. No? So maybe we are already familiar at taking the differential directly. So the du is 9, 9 times the dx because the derivative of this is 9. I multiplied with dx directly. Now, looking on the given, no? if you have to check, this is my given uh, do, correct? And my given do is lacking with a factor of 9. Okay, so kuang sig 9 and that is done by inspection. Okay? Now, if the lacking fa constant factor is 9, then we can insert that lacking constant factor of 9. However, we can neutralize by placing 1 over 9 before the integral sign as a neutralizing factor. Okay, this is how it is then. 9 is inserted together with the dx because the given, uh, the given, ang atong differential in the given is actually lacking a constant factor. Now, if this is u to power 7, this is now a du. Now, you are actually dividing this by 9. But because there is a rule, 9 over 9 is actually 1. No? So, you are not actually changing the whole expression, but we are only changing the form so that we can provide an exact differential or a du. Okay? So, we neutralize by putting 1 over 9 here. Now, why is it that we are not allowed to insert an expression involving variable because under rule 3, we can only put a constant factor before the integral sign. So, if it involves a variable, no, direct, so it is actually violating your I3. So, only constant factor when it's lacking can be inserted but never do that when it involves a variable. So, 9 is inserted, the reciprocal of which is used as a neutralizing factor. Now, if this is my u according to this, then there is already a du. 
So we can proceed with the integral directly without replacing our expression with another variable. So by power rule, I have 1 over 9. And if this is my u, the power will now be increased to it. And that's over it. So I can now take the simplified form, okay, which can be 1 over 72 times a quantity 9x minus 5 raised to power 8 plus 7. The same formula are used because this is actually an example of a basic integration formula wherein atos ang incorporate the basic techniques of integration. So the technique we are using here is a simple substitution method or providing an exact deal. Okay. Now in number 2, now where we are also using the simple substitution, okay, now let us consider if we will be providing an exact deal instead. I call this as u. Is there a relationship with this expression with the remaining expression in our given? If my u is x to power 1 third minus 5, I express that in terms of power because I'm using a power rule. My du is, according to power rule, 1 third x to power minus 2 third when 1 is subtracted. That's a derivative. I can have the dx. No? Now, to follow the form in the given, I have dx over x to power 2 third, which is also the same now by bringing this down. So I'm now changing the power as I take the reciprocal. So I have dx over, there's 3 in the denominator, 3x to power 2 third. Now looking on the given, so you have to inspect, na? my given do is only dx over x to power 2 third. So what's lacking? The lacking is 3 in the denominator or for the entire expression, it's lacking by one third because that is part of the denominator. This is one over three. Neutralizing factor is its reciprocal, so that means three is needed to neutralize later. Okay, I'll be inserting the lacking constant factor. So I'm inserting not three but one third. This is one third. So my neutralizing factor would be three. Three over three is one. So as if you are not actually changing the whole expression. We are just changing the form in order that there is a u cube and a du form. Okay, now, if this is u cube times a du, then I can apply my power rule. So it is 3 times the quantity cube root of x minus 5 raised to the fourth power over 4 and we arrive with a answer for number 2. Okay, so medyo dali because dili ta mag change atong given, no? Using another variable, so ato lang i-maintain ang atong original variable used in the given. So there is no restoration after we do the integration. Okay, so as an additional example, so I take a function which is different than what we have previously because I'm working with a trigonometric function this time. Now there's a relationship between sine and cosine. One of them can be taken as u and the other one as a du. Now, take note that the sine function is raised to the fifth power while the cosine is raised to a power one only. So if you will be choosing which of the two factors will be considered as u, so ang akong taugon of u is the one that contains a power because my intention is to use a power rule. So there is u to power n and a du form no? under a power rule. No? Okay, so what is my u? My u is the sine of x over 4 or the sine of a one-fourth of x. The derivative of which or its differential so is the cosine of the same angle x over 4 and the derivative of x over 4 or one-fourth of x is one-fourth. So in, since it is a differential, so my derivative will be multiplied with the x. Now, I can now compare with my given. Obviously, this is lacking with one-fourth, which is skinny. Because this is the exact deal because this is evaluated based on the function involved. Na? Exact deal, this is the given deal. It's lacking with one-fourth. With one My neutralizing factor needed would be 4. Okay? Now, considering the given, I have to insert the lacking constant factor. One-fourth is inserted. Okay? So, I put my one-fourth here because there is no space to insert right here. And entirely, the one which is underlined no, is actually part of the du, which is skinny. 
And while here, we have U to the fifth power and a DU. Okay, so meaning, writing my given in a form like this and providing, I mean, the neutralizing factor here. So writing my given in a form of U to the fifth power and a DU, so that means I can now consider the power rule of integration. So simply, I have to increase the power of my U to 6, no? to, uh, from 5 to 6 no? by adding 1, and I can divide by 6. As a result, the 4 over 6 can be taken in a reduced form of 2 third. That is why I have 2 third from 4 over 6. Sine to power 6, no? and my angle is X over 4, then plus C, and that is my answer. So that completes the method, the basic techniques of integration where we are providing an exact deal or the other option is to apply the method of substitution to show exactly that our given follow a standard integration formula. Okay? So, thank you for watching and goodbye. No? So, until the next video, a continuation of this. See you and bye-bye.